together, together, together. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Good morning. I'm feeling very happy today. I hope that you are too. Let's go through our calendar. All right, we're gonna sing our months of the year. When we get to the month we are in, we will stop and do jazz hands. January, February, March, and April. Our month is April. Let's count how many days we've had in April. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. After fifteen comes sixteen. Today is April sixteenth. Yesterday was Wednesday. Let's sing our months. Oh, we already sang our months. Let's sing our days of the week. When we get to the day that is today, we'll stop and do jazz hands. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Today is Thursday. Our year, 2020. All together. Today is Thursday, April 16th, 2020. Our season is spring and our weather is sunny. I saved our note from last time and I reused it. When you reuse something, that means you don't throw it away when you're done. You save it to use again. All right, today I'm gonna to start with a story because like I said, I'm in a really happy mood. So I wanted to read a book that I think will make you feel happy too. This is a fairy tale. Sometimes fairy tales have princesses or princes or dragons and adventure. This one is called Maiden and Princess. Once in a faraway kingdom, a call was made to all to find their son a worthy bride the king and queen would host a ball. Do you know what a ball is? Not the type you play with when you bounce it. A ball is a fancy party where people dance and eat food and get all dressed up. The ladies in the village were happy to be invited, except for one young maiden who wasn't that excited. Can you tell which young maiden does not look very excited? Do you see her face? She does not look excited to me. I wonder why. This maiden was quite special, the bravest in all the land. She knew the prince from battle, giving her the upper hand. So the prince and the maiden, they both fought together in battle. They were friends. The prince is smart and strong, she confided in her mother. But if I'm being honest, I see him as a brother. Her mother said, just go and have a bit of fun. The prince might not be right, but you could meet the one. So the maiden put on a gown and headed to the ball. She marveled at all the people who filled the sparkling hall. As the maiden's getting dressed, can you tell what kind of pet she has? It's a dragon. A baby dragon is her pet. 
The villagers flocked over to the young maiden's side and insisted that she would make the best royal bride. You look magnificent. You are wise and brave and true. There's no doubt in my mind that the prince will fall for you. Even the king and queen approached her with a smile. You must come see our son and dance with him a while. The maiden was quite flustered, and so she said with care, Please pardon me, your majesties, but I must get some air. Everybody wants her to dance with the prince, but she doesn't really want to. So she was kind to herself, and she decided to go outside to take some deep breaths. Deep breaths, yeah. She fled up to the balcony and looked out at the sky. A future with the prince made her want to cry. I don't mean to bother you, said a soft, said a voice soft and kind, but you seem quite upset. May I ask what's on your mind? Somebody new came outside. A beautiful girl emerged. She took the maiden's breath away. She sat down close to the maiden and asked if she could stay. Soon the maiden had forgotten about the prince and his throne. Summoning all her courage, she took the girl's hand in her own. So when she first went outside, she was feeling flustered and sad. But then she met a new friend. And this friend made her feel better. So she held her hand. Then the doors burst open. The king and queen walked. The king and queen walked through. There's our precious daughter. We've looked all over for you. The maiden's jaw fell open. Her head was feeling light. She had fallen for the princess on this wondrous starry night. The maiden found out that she loves the princess. The royal couple could feel the magic in the air. The queen said to the king, they're the perfect pair. The maiden felt quite bashful but quickly stole a glance. She saw the princess smiling and asked her, want to dance? So she did not want to dance with the prince, but she does want to dance with the princess. They held each other close as they spun across the floor. And when they shared a kiss, their hearts began to soar. Soon the maiden and the princess were seldom seen apart. They filled their days together with books, laughter, and art. They rode horses and sang and picked wildflowers at dawn. They practiced their aim and faced adventure head on. Look at all the fun things they're doing together. When the day finally came, to prove their love was true, the maiden and the princess happily said, I do. So they got married. Sometimes when people get married, they say, I do, I do want to marry you. The end. That was a sweet story, story of love. Speaking of love and happiness, I wanted to spread love and happiness to people who live near me. 
But right now I'm not able to go hang out with them or give them a hug. So I painted some rocks. When I found the rocks, they looked like normal rocks. But I used some paint and paint brushes to turn them into some art. And I painted things on my rocks that make me feel happy. I'm hoping that they'll make other people feel happy too. What shape did I paint on this rock? That's a heart. What did I paint on this rock? A smile face. And what did I paint on this rock? A rainbow. So now that I painted my rocks, I'm gonna go on a walk around my neighborhood and I'm going to put these rocks places for people to find. Maybe I'll put them on someone's driveway or maybe I'll put it by somebody's mailbox or I could just put it on the sidewalk for somebody to find. And I hope that when they see these rocks, they feel happy and they smile. Maybe you could do this at your house. So what I did first was I painted a base color a base color means I painted it all one color so that it would be easier to paint my picture on top of it. My base color here is orange. My base color here is yellow. And my base color here is white. Then once my base um, was done drying, then I painted my pictures on top. I wonder if you will spread happiness with rocks in your neighborhood. I got this idea from my friend Kristen. Hi Kristen, thank you for the great idea. All right, there's something else I thought we should talk about. So I went to the grocery store the other day and I noticed that people were wearing things that covered their faces. I couldn't see their noses or their mouths. I could only see their eyes. Have you seen people wearing masks? Maybe you have a mask at your house, or maybe your parents have masks. I have some masks, and I wanted to show you how I wear mine. When I wear my mask, you can only see my eyes. So I might look a little bit different, but it's still me under there. My mask has two elastics. Where do you think these might go? around my ears. The reason I wear my mask when I go to the store is to help my germs not be spread to anybody. And that's why a lot of people are wearing them. They're trying to help other people not to get sick. It's a way to help our community. So I'm gonna show you what this mask looks like. And even though my mouth and my nose are covered, I can still talk and I can still breathe. Can you tell it's me? It is. I can still smile under here. And even though you can't see my mouth, you can see my eyes. I'm smiling. <laughs> Not all masks look the same. This mask, I put it on the same way, but it looks a little different. So when you go out and you see people wearing masks, you could smile at them. You could say, thanks for wearing a mask. Thanks for helping our community. All right, now we're ready to do our sign language. We've been learning a new letter every time I do a circle. First, let's review our letters. Ah. B. K. Oh, D. I messed up for a second. E. Today we're going to learn. like fish, like friend, to do f a 
show you what it looks like when you write it. Okay, I'm going to say our poem. I had a, a bouncing letter. It was a fish whose name was Fred. I gave him a flower and he was my friend. Maybe we will meet again. So to do this poem, you need to know how to make fish. I'm making my hand swim like a fish might swim. Flower, it's like you're smelling flower. And friend, link your fingers and link them again. Okay. Say it with me this time. I had a, a bouncing letter. It was a fish whose name was Fred. I gave him a flower and he was my friend. Maybe we will meet again. All right. Now, before we go, I'm sitting down today we can still do head, shoulders, knees, and toes even while we're sitting down. I'm going to put my legs out. Let's try it. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. I'm even going to do our goodbye poem sitting down today. If you want to do it standing up, you can. Let me get it out of here. Okay, this is what it looks like. It has all the words and it has some pictures. Okay, I'm going to do it sitting down. If you want to stand up, now's a good time to stretch those legs. All right. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile, gotta go, buffalo. See you soon, raccoon. Be sweet, parakeet. Take care, polar bear. In a shake, garter snake. Hit the road, happy toad. Can't stay, blue jay. Bye-bye, butterfly. Give a hug, ladybug. Toodaloo, kangaroo. Time to scoot, little newt. Till then, penguin. Adios, hippos. Hasta mañana, iguana. Give a kiss, goldfish. Get in line, porcupine. Out the door, dinosaur. On the bus, octopus. Our group time now. I almost forgot my favorite part. To your house, quiet mouse. Our school day. <laughs> I am just fumbling my words today. Our group time now ends. So goodbye, my dear friends. Have a good day. <laughs>